Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by with the season five reloaded update a little while back. We actually got a decent meta update involving the close range meta, meaning the SMGs and the best of the best in the category are a bit shifted around now. You got a lot of competitive options, which obviously you love to see, but today we are breaking down the top five best subs in the meta right now. As we get into it, if you enjoy the video, if you find it helpful at all, you're using the screenshots to help you get your builds, do me a favor, drop a like on it, it would be really appreciated. And if you're new here, you wanna guarantee you're always up to date with the latest meta breakdowns, all news and updates, everything going on in COD. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. Now we're starting first at number five with the Vaznev. And considering the Vaznev is number five should indicate that this SMG category is extremely competitive and all five spots here today are subs worth using. The close range TTK on the Vaznev is phenomenal. The only reason it's at five is because it's damage drop off is a little bit steeper and a little bit harsher outside of nine or 10 meters. It does drop off pretty quickly there, but for a close range option, this is absolutely phenomenal. And it's a setup that quite literally has not changed in seasons. They don't really ever adjust the Vaznev, it seems like. It's just been a steady, constant, reliable sub for a long time now, which I'm okay with, honestly. We got the 45 round Cinemag here, True Tack rear grip for that better ADS and Sprint to Fire. The Autra's add stock for the better strafe speed and sprint speed, which is just nice and convenient, just better mobility. That's a bit different from what you get elsewhere. So just increasing that even more. Ole Laser, you'll see this on pretty much every single sub today or the seven milliwatt laser as well with that better ADS and Sprint to Fire, just nice and snappy. And then I do go for that cast one barrel for that better damage range, just because obviously, like I said, that damage range drop off in that first area, in that first range rather, is really hard. So this just extends that a little bit and it can help win some close range gunfights. Also, for what it's worth, if you wanted to use this as like sniper support and like uh, complement it a little bit more there, you could always now upgrade to the high velocity ammo since that's available here as well for what it's worth. But really solid, really consistent SMG, really good for just being at number five. And again, another indication of how competitive this is, the Vel 46, I would say is a pretty steady number of four. You could argue maybe three, maybe two even in some cases, and you'd probably have a pretty sound reasoning behind that, right? This thing is ridiculously reliable as well, and it's really consistent everywhere. In the close range, it's right there with the best of the best. In the mid range, it really thrives. Plus it's also super low recoil and has really good mobility as well. So you cannot go wrong with the uh, Vel 46 or the MP7 here here either initially i got the 50 round mag if you want to jump up to 60 feel free to do so it's going to be a little bit slower but nothing that's going to be drastically noticeable in game right soldier rear grip better ads and sprint to fire yet again i go for the rxt stock better sprint speed uh ads speed and that wildly important crouch movement speed is on there as well seven milliwatt laser yet again here then also just for that mid-range to keep this thing nice and just laser beam-esque i do use that kt85 compensator gonna make this thing ridiculously easy to shoot and stay on target and you're gonna be able to beam players regardless of if you're fighting at 10 meters or 30 meters and it's gonna have that nice and consistent ttk also since we're on the topic of the meta right now absolute meta irl is going to be gamer advantage glasses trust me this is a loadout you guys want to be running on a daily basis right whether you're doing work school or gaming if you're looking at screens for long periods of time they are game changers they offer prescription or regular lenses so they got something for everybody a bunch of different frame styles and these are going to help reduce eye strain reduce headaches and even help you sleep better at night as well I absolutely love these. You guys obviously know I only endorse products that I actively use. And these are the most essential part of my setup. If you want to get a pair for yourself, throw in code immortal at checkout. It'll get you a nice little discount. Link for that is going to be down below. Now, at number three, I've got the new Lockman Shroud. And quite honestly, this is so user dependent that three is a weird spot to put it because admittedly, if you're just an average player, you're not super great at spamming weapons fast or staying on target with semi-auto or burst weapons. This might be, you know, like number seven or eight in the SMG category for you. If you're just cracked and you can spam the fire rate here or you are super consistent in burst this might be the number one smg for you because it can be so broken as we know if you're spamming semi-auto or that burst the ttk is extremely competitive there but if you're not accurate while you're spamming or you can't spam fast enough it's not going to do as well so i feel like three is a nice middle ground for this it's a consistent smg regardless but really is super super reliant on your user skill level here we're going for the 40 round mag if you want to again jump up to 50 here and go for the larger one with a slight uh lack of mobility there feel free to do so it's not the end of the world i like overpressured ammo here unfortunately there's no high velo here for some reason but this will induce some extra flinch so enemies might miss some shots on you because of that i also just don't really feel like an under barrel a barrel or an optic is worth it on this weapon in particular tcg 10 rear grip for some better control i also tune for the inverse better mobility so we're getting a little bit of everything out of that 
mobile stock here for the better sprint speed strafe speed ads speed a lot of great benefits out of that in one specific attachment and then the seven milliwatt laser yet again for that snappier ads and better sprint to fire speed fun smg if you are like i said a really really high skill player awkward though maybe if you're not and then honestly the one and two spots are so close it's almost impossible for me to say yes this is definitively one and two but at two for now, I've got the standard Lockman sub, the MP5. While it does have a bit of a steeper drop-off similar to the Vaznev, this thing is so wildly easy to use and so lethal up close that that kind of holds its own and speaks for itself and sets it apart from some of the other SMGs that fall off a bit in the mid-range. Also, though, you could throw on high velocity on this as well for more of a sniper support and close range style build too if you wanted to. It's just reliable. It's super easy and can absolutely fry up close, right? So here we are again going for the 40 round mag. Feel free to jump up to 50 if you want. TCG 10 rear grip here as well. Same deal as on the shroud, better control basic. And then we also go for the better mobility on the tunes. Mobile stock here as well for all the same benefits as over on the shroud. And same deal with the 7 milliwatt laser. Only difference here is that the barrels are actually worthwhile in my opinion. I go for the Falcon Barrel, better movement speed and ADS speed. It hurts your VLO and control, but that doesn't really matter in close range fights where you're going to be running and gunning with this thing. So those cons are pretty much irrelevant there. And this thing for close range, for hip firing, it's all going to work so well. You can transition between hip fire and ADS very fluidly. I love the feel of this, and it's one that I've been rocking a lot here post season five reloaded. And then lastly, at number one, there's no denying the ISO strengths everywhere basically up close it's right there with the mp5 for the best close range ttk and even right there with the shroud as well depending on your uh burst or semi-auto uh firing speed in the mid-range it absolutely dominates nothing is sniper support like the iso here it's ttk from you know 10 to 30 meters is really giving itself a huge advantage over every other sub basically a bit more bounce and a bit more recoil than maybe an option like the mp7 which is why you could argue maybe that's the second best smg or maybe this falls a little bit it's again a lot more user dependent on the recoil control here but up close that's not going to be your major factor and this thing's going to still fry so 45 round drum is obviously the max here i go for the sheer rear grip still better ads and sprint to fire the cheetah stock i love better sprint speed crouch speed ads speed everything going on there is going to be super convenient for mobility seven milliwatt laser yet again and then aforementioned recoil control a little bit shaky with that bounce there especially with the iron sights so lock shot kt85 will help out a decent bit there and make this a lot more usable a lot easier to actually see your enemies consistently if you're fighting at you know 15 20 meters uh where visibility might drop a bit depending on the situation that just helps it keep uh consistent and steady in those types of fights so pretty versatile setup here and like i said its strengths are just so standoutish i guess you could say especially in that late early range early mid range if that makes any sense but that being said those are the top five best smgs in warzone right now and that's going to wrap things up if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on it, it would be really appreciated. And if you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. That way every single day you can stay up to date with all things going on in COD. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.